Welcome to the latest review of Merkulu Linux. Uh, today I'll be reviewing the uh, version 2.0 release. Um, you will be presented. I'm actually using the live um, DVD to do this review because I want to it to be um, exactly like it would be for a user that first logs on. So um, with that being said, um, the first thing you'll see obviously when you log uh, when you load it up uh, is the login panel. And as you can see, we've added some nice uh, backgrounds and wallpapers as you'll see further on throughout um, Kulu Linux. Um, that represents our brain, you know, the hippo. Um, the first thing you'll notice, of course, is that um, we switched from the MDM Display Manager to the LightDM Manager. Um, the reason for that basically is that um, the light D the the light DM just fits so much nicer with our theming, and um, you know I like the transparency. I like the, the transparent bars. It lets you see the pic more of the picture. Um, yeah, it's just a nicer look. That's the main reason, really. Before we used to, uh, the, uh, on 1.0. We had issues with uh, using LightDM on the, our distro, but we fixed those issues, and so now we're using it in uh, 2.0. Okay, so of course, as your selection of uh, desktop environments is the uh, Cinnamon, GNOME 3, KDE, and Mate 1.6. I'm going to log into Cinnamon first, so I'm just going to hit Enter here. And uh, I should be presented with a cinnamon desktop. There we go. Um, now the first thing, of course, that you'll notice is the the background wallpaper, which is a hippo instead of a car, the guy pushing on a remote, and that looks pretty cool. Next thing you'll notice, of course, is Conky Conky running on the desktop. It's very light on resources, so no need to stress that we're wasting resources. Um, and it gives nice, uh, valuable input to the user. Memory usage, CPU usage, disk usage, your um, network usage, and of course your um, kernel information, uptime, and so forth. Conky will run on all the desktops. Um, we've only supplied one, um, one theme of Conky. Um, if you want another, it's quite easy to change. I mean, it's you, you go online, you find you find a, a theme that conky theme that you like, and you just run run like uh, one simple command, and it's done. Um, the backgrounds included with Makulu Linux, uh, of course, is there's quite a few. There's a you know um, I think we've included eight or nine nine backgrounds that uh, the user can change, and. Uh, most of them are quite nice. Uh, you know, some of them are well; they're all different sizes. So, um, depending on your resolution, you may have to scale and crop them or whatever. But they'll still look nice, nonetheless. Um, anyway, so yeah, so there's a range of backgrounds that the user can now choose from, and they all are, you know, variety. Variety is good; it's always good. So yeah, let's get back to uh, the default wallpaper here. Um, now, <coughs> let's start with the programs that come pre-installed with Makulu. Um, we now use the Deepen Software Manager, which is a very, very nice software manager. Um, it is faster than both the Mint, uh, the Mint Software Manager, as well as the Ubuntu Software Manager, which takes forever. To, to do anything. Um, this is, as you can see, it loaded quite fast. Um, it is feature packed, shows your, um, you know, featured apps in front, uh, repository where you can actually search by category. I'm sure you guys have um, used the software manager before. If you have, it's pretty much uh, standard up on, on par with every other software manager out there. It also has a nice feature where you can actually look for for um, updates, system updates will be displayed inside the software manager. Of course anything you want to uninstall you can, 
and anything that you're currently downloading through the software manager will show in the download section you can also uh, change the theme there's a small selection of themes that you can make use of so yeah the deepen software manager is the software manager of choice i think it was a brilliant choice choice to use that um, package manager comes synaptic package manager comes uh, pre-installed on Makulu of course your software and updates is where you go set your graphical drivers you set your PPAs and your updates um, so that's included uh, you've got your normal control center um, and this is one one point seven point whatever cinnamon uh, with every update it changes so um, the version you'll be running um, will, well will be 1.7 point maybe five six seven eight whatever but um, the control center has changed quite a bit um, they've now basically centralized everything so that's quite cool um, of course your standard terminal and Nemo um, all the standard stuff is installed your arch of managers there Nemo's there contacts disks gedit pluma is there a screenshot utility um, variety wallpaper changer is uh, included it's a brilliant brilliant uh, little app for for editing wallpapers um, it has so many features it's unreal so I've included that um, under games you've got your solitaire games your card games your billiard which is a 3d pool game uh, Seferino Cif I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that but anyway it's uh, similar to the old Pang game Hedge Wars which is a uh, uh, sort of a Worms clone it's it's basically Worms with Hedgehogs uh, it's quite a nice little game to pass the time uh, Mayong is in there, Mines is in there, uh, Sudoku is in there and of course Steam is included in Makulu Linux you can now run Steam and uh, simply log in, update and play your favorite games on Linux uh, it's quite awesome and the graphics we've got the normal document view, image view, image magic we've got color paint which is a um, well it's it's a basically a Microsoft Paint clone um, it's quite feature packed for such a powerful for such a little little app that takes so little space um, so it was a definite app to add you've got Libra draw you've got uh, shot well to manage your photographs and you've got simple scan um, and the internet you've got Dropbox you've got in sync which is of course the two apps that you can use to um, sync with online storage both of which add um, little icons to your panel with easy to use uh, menus you know you can uh, set your account information and oh now it will open up uh, Google um, you can pause and resume syncing you can go to your um, local folder or the folder on the net there's actions uh, recent changes and so forth it's a very automated little app it's really awesome I'm gonna minimize Opera for now because I want to focus on that just now um, and of course uh, you know it syncs with Google Drive so you get 5 gigs of online storage space Dropbox does the same thing if you open Dropbox it will also add a little applet to the panel which you can also manage um, and that will sync a further additional 2 gigs of online storage space Ubuntu 1 is also installed it's further down the menu and that will allow you to add another 5 gigs of storage space so all in all you'll have 12 gigs of free online storage space that you can use with, with Makulu uh, Dropbox has a couple of specials that they run where if you invite friends and they accept uh, it increases your free storage space I think the max you can go is 16 so if you take all in all the free space that you can actually have it's a total of 26 gigs of online free storage space without having to fork out a cent uh, Mumble is included Mumble um, you use for it's, it's basically a, a, a voice chat program um, there's a couple of guys that I hang out with on Mumble in the Open Linux community. They are awesome bunch of guys. Um, they also build distributions like I do. So we all get along quite well. We share information and just ideas and stuff. I, it's really a great, great bunch of guys. I will post the Mumble, the, the, the channel um, information in the description of or under the YouTube clip. So if you want to pop in there and say how's it, uh, you know, they'll welcome you with open arms. Um, really great crowd of guys. Um, Opera is of course the, the default browser of choice and Opera goes hand in hand with Flaregit which is your multi-threaded download manager. 
Pigeon is the uh, instant messenger of choice. Uh, Thunder Mail is the mail mail client of choice. Transmission, of course, the torrent manager and chat IRC, which is your IRC chat program. Um, Office, you've got LibreOffice on here. Document view is linked there again. And uh, the sound and video, you've got Brazero and K3B, which is your two uh, CD slash DVD writing programs. Um, Brazero is more more easier for newcomers, where K3B has more advanced options. They kind of go hand in hand, you know. So uh, we included both. Radio Tray, of course, is an awesome little program for streaming um, um, audio over the net. So you can you know play your play and listen to your favorite radio station. That's always awesome, and it uses very little resources. Rhythm Box is, of course, your uh, default media player for music. Sound recorders included, Totem Video Player, VLC Media Player is the media, the default media player for all your movies and uh, you know any video clips you want to play. Voco Screen is actually an awesome little um, screencast app which crack, uh, basically allows you to make um, videos. I'm actually making one right now using Voco Screen. Easy to use, easy to configure. Uh, it's just click a few buttons and, and you're off. So we've included that. A wine is of course pre-installed on Kulu Linux. You can simply just double click any exe and run it. We actually have a separate wine configuration that's been pre-configured with the .NET frameworks, DirectX, XMA, MS, XML. You know, all the needed software that's messy to install in wine. It's pre-configured and, and it is a separate download on our website. So if you want to game or you want to run complex software that require .NET Framework or anything like that and you don't want to go through the hassle of installing it or you struggle to install it, you can simply download the pre-configured one from our website, extract it straight into your home folder, just overwrite the existing .wine folder with the one that supplied on the website and everything will be pre-installed for you and you can run games, you can run just about anything. If you're going to be using a few lightweight Windows programs, that's not needed. You can just double click the EXE and they should run fine. One PPA is also added to the um, system, uh, to the software update manager. So any Wine updates will come through automatically to your system, as will Steam. Um, and the preferences, you've got pretty much all the standard stuff, background, backup, Bluetooth, practice and lock color blah 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 oh G part that is also included in Makulu Linux which is very awesome for um, you know formatting flash drives sorting out partition stuff and so forth um, the rest of the stuff is pretty all standard um, yeah you'll get these in just about every distribution you run um, GNOME tweak tool is of course installed um, and that is for tweaking the GNOME desktop Ubuntu Tweak, of course, we installed. Uh, we don't do not run Unity, but that does not mean that Ubuntu Tweak does not have its advantages. It's a great little app. It will allow you to easily set your default applications um, without having to mess with your MIME lists. It also has a janitor function to keep your system clean. It's an awesome little app. You you can run it just on any virtual any desktop any system. It doesn't have to be a Ubuntu system. So that's a nice little app to have. And of course, there is Ubuntu one that I mentioned earlier. So basically, yeah. Under administration, you've got um, privacy, software updater, of course. Um, and the system tools, you've got Deconf Editor, which is always useful, disk analy usage analyzer. GDB Package Installer is the package installer of choice on Makulu Linux. And of course, you have your system monitor. Okay, so pretty much that's all standard um, except the preferred apps that we've installed and of course that wine is installed that steam is installed and that we've included a few more games than most distributions do um, I, I've always felt strongly that you know um, keeping things lightweight is nice but at the same time um, you know sometimes you just want to pass the time and play a game of pool I mean the game is small enough it's a few megabytes um, the same with 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 Edge Wars and 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 Seferino. Um, you know these these games are I think together this is all like maybe twenty or thirty megabytes, and the value they add is just awesome. So let's move on to Opera. Opera is the default browser of choice. 
we've included a few extensions in Opera um, and these will allow you to um, basically um, you know have a better experience in Opera ad block is included so it blocks all ads on websites or to Earl is included so any clickable Earl or any Earl on a page that's not clickable it will automatically change into a clickable Earl that's awesome Facebook ad cleaner is always nice because you know Facebook can get slow and especially when there's a lot happening on the page um, these ads can really literally bring any system down I run an i5 here and, and not and not not a low-end i5 either and even sometimes I can feel Facebook you know making my system sluggish so that uh, Facebook ad cleaner is awesome of course we've have, uh, included a no ads and better UI for Gmail which is also awesome it cleans also the ads out for Gmail the Google context search by image that's an awesome little extension it allows you to um, right click any image and just uh, search for similar images all over the net image auto resize is, is of course nice to resize images within your browser um, convert all HTTP to text to links of course that this is a extra little thing which actually allows you to highlight a link and then convert it into a clickable link opera to mobile is of course nice it, it will um, It will of course allow you to send uh, pages and links directly to your mobile from inside Opera. You will have to configure your Android phone for that to work. Weather is nice, it uh, brings weather into your speed dials. Um, this extension provides um, information of the site availability for other visitors. This is also um, uh, very useful especially when there's an error on a site you can actually see if the error is just on your side or if it's for others um, web caching that's awesome it uh, saves bandwidth um, you know Opera already uses less bandwidth than most browsers and now you can save even more bandwidth this is for people with uh, low bandwidth usage so yeah that's pretty awesome we've got just a few extensions then not half as much as you would need in uh, Firefox or Chrome and uh, I think those are pretty much all that you would need to have a, a, a lightweight or op turn opera into a lightweight browser, lightweight yet very powerful browser. Uh, a couple of the speed dials have been pre configured for the users, mostly um, the first three are Makulu, actually, the first four are Makulu, Makulu related, and that will take you to the FAQ section, the forum, the online chat, and the Facebook. You've got then Google, Gmail, Facebook. Uh, Twitter, DistroWatch, News Portal, News24, eBay, PayPal, your um, Steam for Linux, another Steam community for Linux, YouTube, um, IMDB, uh, Dropbox, Ubuntu One, and Weather. So yeah, there's a couple of useful speed dials. You can easily add more by clicking on the plus button, entering the address, and clicking OK. So yeah, the more the more speed dials you create, the more smaller these will become, and the more you will see on the screen anyway um, so yeah that's pretty much opera if you download something it will obviously the, the link will get caught by flaregit so flaregit will kick in the file browser of choice on um, oh, let me just close this quit the file browser of choice on cinnamon of course is Nemo it comes pre-installed with cinnamon this is the new Nemo I think version 1.7.3 yes 1.7.3 and as you can see we've uh, used the ambience theme the ambience theme we carried over from version 1.0 because we really like the theme actually I like the theme I love it I can't get enough of it it is my preferred theme for everything so I've set this theme standard on all the desktops um, you'll notice a couple of new things in, in Nemo uh, firstly you'll notice that the um, um, your links on the side in your sidebar um, your paths will now show little graphical indicator to show how much space is being used how much free space you have you can also hover the mouse over to get a pop-up um, description showing how much free space you have um, there are a couple of other features um, 
I have not enabled them by default you can go into your synaptic package manager search for Nemo and enable all the extensions I think there's a Dropbox center Dropbox center paste bin and blah 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 um, but yeah Nemo is the default display ma uh, the default file browser for cinnamon it's pretty awesome um, you'll probably notice far more changes as you go in and as the mint team sends through new updates um, so yeah that in a nutshell is cinnamon we've included a uh, shortcut on the desktop a Makulu help which will automatically when you click on it open up the FAQ section on Makulu Linux website where any known issues or known configurations or any guides you know will be listed you simply click the topic and it will take you to to um, to the well the to to the topic answer if you do not find your uh, problem there you are welcome to post it on the forums if we find a solution and it is something somebody else would probably be having issues with we will then add it to the FAQ so the frequently asked question section will grow over time um, the taskbar put a few shortcuts directly on the task on the on the bottom panel which is always useful especially your terminal your browser and your file browser which are the three things three items you'll probably use a lot we've also enabled the um, Windows preview as well as the oh no we didn't enable that by default but you can enable able the 3d co cover flow of tab um, Windows switcher um, so yeah that's uh, cinnamon in a nutshell I'm going to log into the next desktop now so we go back to the login panel and you click this little white dot next to the username and you would select the new desktop environment so let's move over to GNOME so this is GNOME 3.8 which is included with Makulu Linux instead of Unity we removed Unity we actually didn't base it on Unity at all um, I'm not a Unity fan people around me that I know aren't Unity fan people that assisted me with this distro they aren't Unity fans so it was an easy decision just leaving Unity out completely that is an Ubuntu project and let it stay there um, we were not actually going to include GNOME at first but uh, with the new Cinnamon 1.7 quite a lot of features are uh, quite a lot of dependencies are needed by GNOME therefore we included GNOME and um, and you know I'm actually glad we did because it's actually a nice little shell I actually didn't realize how much progress has been made in GNOME and uh, with the all the extensions and how much you can customize it it's actually you know since since they first brought it out it's actually changed drastically and it seems a lot more stable and that was my main concern for not wanting it in in the first place was stability but I've had no problems with that on that front so I'm quite happy with it okay so the first thing you'll notice in GNOME of course is that the desktop is there um, and that conkey is there uh, the desktop background there and that conkey has loaded GNOME of course uh, the GNOME lovers will know the GNOME menus um, they'll know the whole pop-up procedures and so forth the first thing you'll notice here is that the hot corner has been removed okay and the in standard application overview many uh, overview start manager or whatever you want to call it application launcher has been removed as well instead we opted to use a more default kind of style launcher um, that's just pure preference so you can basically just you know launch any program from the normal standard view with more a more standard looking menu if you do want to see uh, for example any activities that are open let's just open a file browser here um, and then we go to menu the activities button will switch you back to 3d mode which will then allow you to actually access the standard no menu okay so yeah so you can still access the standard GNOME menu via the activities button on the launcher which is awesome um, and of course you can just remove it again so the activities button will of course link you to the standard GNOME menu in case you wish to go use that instead or you can just disable this launcher in the um, extensions 
in extensions and you will have your default application launcher back and you can also disable the hot corner disabler and that will give you your so yeah you can can configure gnome as much as you want um, it's highly customizable which is one of the nice things about it um, the menu you can have two modes one is the categories mode that you see here which is uh, mo the standard look that most menus share or you can go to alphabetical mode where everything is in alphabetical order and it lists it according to well what I, pro what I would probably refer to as pages from page 1 to page 6 starts with A and it ends with X so you can simply find an if you know the app name that you're looking for um, you can probably use this style rather and get used to where the apps are you know on which pages and just go find something under S or whatever the case might be um, you can configure the launcher as well it's got quite a few nice options for that um, the weather extension has been included of course I just I've set it to my home city you can of course change your weather setting settings add a new city and remove mine change the um, temperature units and so forth so yeah but that's a nice little app for checking the weather um, other extensions included is your network network monitor um, we've also included the uh, advanced system settings which opens the known tweak tool and allows you to set your shell extensions your theme and so forth so forth you'll also notice quite a lot of extensions are disabled some of them do have issues with other extensions so always check that the extensions are compatible um, most of them we switched off and just added you know just so the user will have a variety already at his fingertips available to him excuse me for one second I'm just going to sorry I had a message on my phone that uh, I was expecting so I just took that quickly so yeah Gnome in a nutshell um, is pretty nice I've actually come to learn to respect it um, of course the default file manager for or file browser for Gnome is also Nemo which is nice I quite like Nemo um, so yeah oh I wanted to show you the um, panel settings panel settings will allow you to set your auto hide overview only normal um, top and bottom the only problem I've ever had with panel settings was to set it bottom and auto hide if I set my panel bar at the bottom and I set it to auto hide I actually have issues with um, it not always popping up if I set it to top to the top and then set it to auto hide I have no problem so um, hopefully they'll fix that in a future version of that extension for now it's no big deal I usually leave the panel on the top anyway so the so it does that that little bug does not affect me other than that it's an awesome little thing for managing your um, panel so that is awesome awesome very awesome very or very 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 awesome we've included a task manager or task bar extension in gnome so that if you have any running apps it will actually pop up a little preview window and you can then switch between them as you can see I'm doing right now um, so yeah so that's GNOME 3 in a nutshell um, it's basically we've just added some basic stuff to it there's a lot there's like 27 pages of extensions that you can add so uh, I can go wild with that um, the GNOME 3 lovers will really probably will go wild reconfiguring uh, GNOME so I'm going to log out and then log into the next desktop environment which of course is uh, KDE now KDE the 4.95 4 I was actually more impressed with 4.95 than I am with 4.10 however I know there's uh, quite a few new features in 4.10 and everybody seems to be raving about 4.10 so we've included 4.10 instead of 4.95 but I must tell you 4.10 is so 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 much slower than 4.95 at boot up I mean uh, I have a pretty powerful system here and this is just the standard KDE okay yeah we tweaked it a lot but uh, 
I mean, our tweaking had nothing to do with the boot up speed of KDE. Um, I'm going to log into KDE now and you will see what I mean. It takes quite a while to boot up KDE. Um, that's the first time you boot up into it. The second time it does um, become shorter, but still, KDE is um, a little slow with boot up. I hope that the guys from KDE fix it, fix this. I don't know if it's a bug or if they just did this intentional, but uh, KDE does take long to boot and that is not just on Makulu, that is on any distribution anywhere. Um, here we go. Okay, that might not look like it took very long, but it is actually not booted up yet. It actually um, um, makes a little sound clip, you know, plays a little sound clip when it's actually booted up. So it takes about another, there we go, now it's booted up. So yeah, it, it is a little slow on boot up, I wouldn't say extremely. You know, the KDE guys, uh, I guess they'll just have to be patient or hound the KDE guys to maybe speed it up a bit. But yeah, KDE, got the standard desktop again and you can obviously switch to any of the other Makulu desktops environments that are included. Um, yeah, and we put a few shortcuts on the desktop, that's one of the first things you'll notice and that's to the software center, your internet browser, your system settings and of course your Dolphin which is your file browser, your default file, brow file browser. On the panel at the bottom you'll find Dolphin and Opera as well, shortcuts to those two. Um, you will see a link to your home folder inside the folder view settings. If you double click that it will take you straight to your home folder with documents, downloads, music, pictures, and videos and so forth. You can also set it. You can set folder view settings to whatever you want. A specific directory, your home directory, so that it actually shows all the home folders. Um, yeah, you can set it to whatever. Let's set it on home for now. That, that looks nice. Maybe I should have done that by default. doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so folder view is, is, is quite nice. Um, I think I did lock the app, all the widgets. Yes, let's unlock the widgets. Now you'll see that each of the widgets actually have has options. You've got a little widget manager on the top corner there where you can add more widgets. If we we'll open the widget panel. Yeah, you can add a bunch of widgets. We've included quite a few, and you can get more widgets online. So yeah, it um, KDE is a nice little widget manager. You also have more settings, and um, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Um, if you go to your application launcher, we were gonna go with a classic um, launcher like we did before, but um, I don't know. We've uh, we've messed around with this application launcher and uh, you know it's actually not too bad and uh, somebody actually asked me why we didn't go with it in the first place they preferred it and uh, that was probably the main reason I switched to the default one it is easy to switch to the classic menu you just click right click so choose classic and you are back in your classic menu um, most of the most of the um, most of the software here yeah, is the standard software that I showed you earlier. Um, all the KDE specific items will obviously be included here in KDE itself. Archiving tool, um, you know, you've got uh, Kate. where is it? Where is it? Kate, Kate, the text editor, Kate. You know, there's a couple of applications here that uh, will not be in the other desktop environments that is KDE specific, so they will only show in KDE. Right, let's fire up Dolphin. Dolphin is the default browse, uh, browser manager for KDE. And of course, we've got once again the um, ambience theme, the ambience look for the file manager. Um, and pretty much the whole desktop. Um, we have configured the file manager to show... Um, to show... Uh, oh no, we didn't. Uh, okay, cool. We didn't. I thought I thought I'd switch that on, but uh, clearly I didn't, which doesn't matter. User can easily click it there. Um, we have added a few actions. You know, open with terminal, uh, open f uh, with root, um, ownership, and so forth. Dropbox, in sync, and Ubuntu one. Uh, context menu entries have been created, so now you can send something straight to Dropbox, straight to your 
Google Drive or straight to your Ubuntu One storage space which is very awesome that's very very awesome if you click on the IS, right click on the ISO you can now mount the ISO from inside Dolphin you know we've added quite a few um, services to Dolphin you um, can add more via the Dolphin configure Dolphin services services options let's get download new services um, so yeah um, this is obviously the new Dolphin um, that comes with a new KDE uh, if you go to system settings everything here is pretty much standard you can add desktop effects and so forth you know um, uh, I don't think there's a desktop environment in the world that can be configured as much as um, well apart from mate maybe but it doesn't even have half as many options as KDE so yeah I'm not gonna stress too much about KDE the KDE lovers will, lovers will actually know KDE they'll know where to look and what to look for um, we have done quite a bit of tweaking and so forth on KDE so it kind of fits in with the rest of the desktop environments supplied with Makulu okay let's move over to the last and final desktop environment which is Mate Mate 1.6 it is a lightweight desktop environment meant for all the PCs um, it is probably the also the more stable desktop environment than everything else put together not just specifically on Makulu I mean in general mate is just stable always no matter where you are what you're doing if you are running mate you probably have the most stable desktop in the world um, I mean if you go onto their website they've got three maybe four max bugs listed you know compared to the new cinnamon that has 380 odd bugs still outstanding that, that need fixing you know so yeah that, that kind of just shows you the difference the desktop here is standard again you've got your uh, conky you've got your hippo wallpaper and you've got your help icon and of course you've got your computer and home directories your start manager here um, your start launch uh, your launcher um, start launcher um, is the classic one okay um, we've come to love it it has um, everything is just straightforward in it you know where to go y you're looking for something you just go straight to it so yeah um, you know there are items in here that are not in the other desktops again every desktop has its own apps that we've installed specific for that desktop for example here you have make calculator under system is it system administration no it's uh, let's just look here look here system tools mate system monitor mate terminal you see so everything's mate 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 of course kaja is the default file browser here and as you can see kaja has also been updated quite a bit we've also um, enabled the uh, ambience theme for kaja and you'll also notice that with each desktop environment that we installed the theme isn't exactly the same it's similar throughout all the desktop in uh, desktop environments but each one has its own personality which I like it's nice that way you know it would have been nice to have everything standard but at the same time you gotta wonder you know the look will, will wear it will fade um, so the, and the whole idea of, of running for desktop environments is to switch to a different look so yeah different look but not too different you know which is pretty much what you have with Makulu so yeah Kaja Kaja, the new Kaja has a lot of extra options. You've got Send To, which then allows you to send to email, and allows you to send send to your removable disks, which is like your um, USB disks and so forth. Um, you can add more options via the Synaptic Package Manager. Just go search Kaja, and you will find options there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, Kaja and Mate in a nutshell you can also change your desktop backgrounds quite easily to something else and one last thing I'd like to mention you know I've emailed both mate and KDE about this and um, so far nobody seems to be or either they are fixing it in the background without telling anybody about it or they just mm, haven't looked for on the forums or on the um, github posts to actually see that I've posted so they can reply and that is when when mate 1.6 and KDE 4.10 are installed together some of KDE settings override the mate settings 
I don't know if this was intentional. The fact that the KDE system settings icon is inside the uh, mate control center would indicate to me that maybe this was intentional. Because I know if you have mate on its own, you can change pretty much the, the whole uh, appearance of mate via the appearance app. You know, you can customize it, colors, window borders, icons, pointers and controls. However, if you install KDE 4.10 with Mate 1.6, some of the color options you cannot set via via Mate. You have to actually go into the um, KDE system settings, and there you would go to application um, application settings, and you would go to colors, and here you would set uh, set the color, which will then affect Mate, as you can see not a big deal and actually I kind of like it because of the fact that you can get import new, new schemes, get new schemes and there are far more schemes inside um, KDE than there are ever going to be in Mate. So I don't know if this was intentional, done intentionally done by them or if it's just a bug but if it's a bug it has a huge advantage as a side effect because you can get many more color schemes from um, KDE than you can from Mate. Of course the fonts you will also have to configure. So the fonts is also controlled. So the fonts and the colors is controlled by um, KDE. And that is for Mate. That's the only bug that I have found on Mate so far. Everything else just works flawlessly. No problems. And as you can see Makulu Linux has no clashes, no conf uh, conflicts, no uh, errors popping up. Um, you know it runs pretty well um, so yeah that's Makulu Linux in a nutshell you've got four desktop environments rolled into a single distribution at your fingertips you can uh, switch between them easily via two or three clicks of, of a button um, it's stable it uh, runs well it uh, is highly con customizable you know um, and it is lightweight you know nothing slow everything just runs as at the speed it's supposed to run so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with this distribution I love the look I love the feel of it um, I love the options um, the, the default apps are all the perfect apps that should be there um, I know a lot of people will pref would have preferred uh, Firefox or Chrome instead of Opera but you know Opera to me is one of the most underrated um, internet browsers in the world I do not understand what the big fuss about uh, Firefox and Chrome are they are slow both of them with each version they get bloated and slower and slower they always have bugs and problems you know with with Opera it always just works no e no issues you install it you run it it works it's lightweight it uses half the resources it, it um, uses less bandwidth uh, you need less extensions on it because it comes built in with the features that you still need to enable in Firefox and uh, and Chrome so yeah no I'm, I'm happy with Opera it, it, it deserves its spot on the distribution if you want to change to Firefox Chrome it's easy you can easily download it from a software manager or via terminal it's your choice but uh, we've opted to keep Opera as the standard default browser so yeah, that is pretty much um, Makulu Linux in a nutshell. It is our second release. We are very, very happy with it. Very impressed mm -hmm. with our work. As you can see, everything just just runs, uh, no problems. Um, we've been testing it for a bit now. Um, you know, until recently, Cinnamon was quite unstable because it is unreleased and it is um, still a month away from release and. Uh, if you do have issues with it, I'm sorry, but it really is out of our hands. The PPA for it is added to um, Makulu. So as they send any kind of fixes through, it will automatically come to the desktop. So in fact, although although the, the distribution is already very stable, I mean, we haven't had any kind of issues. Um, it will just keep getting more stable because the Cinnamon updates will be streaming through in the next month. They are on a D-date to launch the new mint with uh, the new cinnamon so they will be um, flooding through a lot of updates for cinnamon which will only you know make uh, Makulu even more stable than what it is 
Um, but anyway, so that, that is uh, Makulu Linux in a nutshell, version 2.0. Grab your copy now. Um, very, very awesome release. Um, I think it really topped the last release, which I didn't think anything could do. Um, so yeah, we would love feedback on, on, on the distribution. If you have problems, post it in the forums. We'll get working on it. If you like it, please also let us know that you like it so that we know we're heading in the right direction. People, you know, people are downloading all the time and uh, we see the stats, we see the download stats every day and nobody comes back to us. We don't hear a word. Uh, we're not complaining because no word is also good because, you know, if nobody's moan, if nobody's giving feed negative feedback, you know, I mean, we're not getting positive feedback, but also we're not hearing anything about bugs, which is great. But we'd love um, some feedback, positive or negative, um, if you can keep it within reason, obviously. Uh, I've had to deal with some idiots that uh, ask me the stupidest of questions or um, simply refuse to recognize the distribution as a distribution because we have a hippo as a logo. I mean, um, I don't even think they understand the reason behind it. But anyway, to that's off topic. Um, yeah, if you have if you have issues or whatever, post them in the forums. I any kind of feedback, we'd love to hear about it. We want to know if we're heading in the right direction or not. You know. Um, so yeah, um, have fun with the distribution. I hope it lives up to its reputation. It should. It should because I've put a lot of hard work in, into this distribution. And uh, yeah. Let's see what the future holds for Makulu Linux. I think we're off to a great start. I wish DistroWatch would wake the hell up and just list us, you know, but they've got this insane uh, policy of being on a waiting list for like something like six years or some crap, unless you buy a $200 banner from them and then they'll suddenly instantly put you on. Um, it's kind of a little bit like blackmail. So I'm still deciding what to do. Should I buy the banner? Should I not buy the banner and just wait for them to be pressured? I don't know. But I would love to actually be listed on there. So if the guys from DistroWatch are listing, um, you know, this distribution deserves its spot there. Um, but yeah, I'll get it on there somehow. Um, but yeah, that's Makulu Linux in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, this is uh, Jacques signing out.